Hey guys, so full disclosure, <laughs> um, I'm very frustrated. I once again have tried to do a reaction video and the, the, I guess the software that I'm using just keeps pausing or stopping the recording even though I haven't asked it to you. So I'm very annoyed right now. Um, I have once again tried to record a reaction video for about seven times and I finally decided apparently that's not what my YouTube channel needs tonight. I have to put something else out there because that just is not going to be a thing. I will not drive myself crazy to put this video out. So, um, I have been even still mulling around the idea of putting together some kind of documentary, mini documentary series. I don't know what exactly it would be about, um, about the guy that went missing in my hometown, but I am genuinely looking for feedback if anybody has any my my idea was originally that I would cover the entire story kind of um, like a brief summary and then I would add whatever details I would have available to me in the story. Um, but as I was talking to more people in my life, they were kind of mentioning, you know, why would I care? about somebody that went missing in your hometown. They didn't make anything of themselves. They weren't anything special. Why would I as an outsider care about it? And so I started to talk to them about how it wasn't so much the the actual individual that I was that I was referencing, it was more about the way that the town that I grew up in was affected by it. Um, so I'm curious now if anybody has any kind of feedback about what kind of format they would prefer to see it in. Um, I'm wondering if, if instead of a more traditional documentary sense of, you know, here's what happened at, or here's the background Here's what happened at the beginning. Here's what happened at the middle. Here's what happened at the, so far the end, but really it's inconclusive versus um, nobody really cares about those specific details. They just want to know, they just want to know the, the premise, the way that it affected the community, and then the way that the the inconclusiveness has affected the community. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm looking at my dog in the background. He's he's so mad that he's not getting attention. Um, so I'm curious what everybody's feedback is. I genuinely want to be able to put this together. <laughs> I really want to put this together so that there's a whole mixed group that enjoys hearing it. And I know for me, I watch a lot of different channels that will put these types of videos together where they go through a background about cold cases or unsolved mysteries or unsolved disappearances or unsolved murders. And I like, I like watching all of it, even if I don't know the background. Um, but it was kind of brought to my attention that, that, that might not be the way that the majority feels about it. So I am curious. I know that the chances of getting feedback on here are pretty slim, but it would be helpful if there is anybody that watches and it's happened to catch any interest with, it would be helpful to know what kind of video you want to see. Um, because it essentially kind of determines the structure of how I put this entire thing together. Like I'm, 
I'm actually going to be working with one of my friends and they're going to be helping me kind of picking and choosing when to add actual news clips or articles and when I would add when I would add my own little uh, video segment. So all of all of the feedback matters is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, and I I really want to know. I want to know. I want to know what people would be interested to hear about about an a cold case an unsolved crime uh, based on being a little bit more involved than maybe the average person. So if there's any feedback that anybody can provide, I would appreciate it. Uh, similarly, I, I would love to do more reaction videos if that's what people would like to see. Um, I don't know if my software is going to cooperate with that, but I will do my best. And just in general, still trying to get a good feel for, for what this channel is going to be all about. And, uh, I mean, other than that, that's about all that I have for today. <laughs> Um, he is clearly very upset by the fact that this is happening. Um, speaking of him, um, I know that I had posted a couple of videos about my dog being sick and I haven't really updated anybody on it, mostly because I'm pretty sure that nobody ever watches this channel but I also, I also don't really know what to say about it because um, he's kind of, he goes through pretty drastic phases. Like there, there are some times when he's, he's doing great and we couldn't be more ecstatic about the way that he seems to be progressing. He's not coughing anymore. Um, all of the the assumingly large health issues have gone away. But now we're also noticing that he's not really eating the way that he's supposed to. He's His activity level has dropped significantly. So I think after going to multiple specialists and hearing that depending on what what their their diagnostic tests find um you know depending on on what those results are we wouldn't do anything anyway we're just not in a position to have a like we, I don't know how to word it where it doesn't sound bad, but we're not in a financial position where we can seriously consider, Eli, stop. <laughs> we're not in a financial position where we can seriously consider doing all of these exploratory surgeries or tests or diagnoses. Like we really kind of need to know can we get some kind of, you know, can we get a cut and dry answer? This is what the problem is. This is how we fix it. Or is it really inconclusive? And all of it has been incredibly inconclusive so far. Um, so, you know, we're, we're making him as comfortable as we possibly can. But financially we just aren't in a, a position to put ourselves in any debt to to veterinarians to maybe find out what's going on and then to probably not do anything about it like if realistically if it's lung cancer that he is dealing with we wouldn't do radiation or chemo for him because the quality of life while doing that wouldn't be worth 
what we might potentially get as a result of of the the process. So most of what he may or may not be dealing with isn't anything that anybody would do a lot of maneuvering for anyway. Like we don't want to do a lot of biopsies that are really invasive and compromise his immune system. We don't want to do a lot of, you know, chemo or radiation as a just in case. We don't want to We've run out of options for antibiotics and, and anti-inflammatories. We've already gone through all of the regimens there. Um, but we also don't want to do an exploratory surgery where they crack open his chest and maybe they can do something about whatever it is and, and most likely they probably won't. So long-winded, <laughs> roundabout way of saying... For anybody who may have been concerned about the dog, um, he's still around. He is much skinnier than I have ever seen him before. I have been trying to entice him with scrambled egg or some boiled chicken breast. He hates rice. He won't eat that. But I've been doing everything that I can on my end and then... I'm mainly focused on keeping him as comfortable as possible until until I guess the the inevitable happens. Um, so because he made an appearance, I decided to share that with everybody. But my main point of this video was to figure out how you guys would prefer to have the the other video structured where I'm doing either a, a mini series or a documentary or some kind of other format where I'm talking about the disappearance that has now become a cold case that nobody really has any answers for. So, um, any, any feedback is appreciated and I suppose until then that's, that's about it for me. Um, eventually, I'm sure I will do another reaction video. It just wasn't going to be tonight, clearly. So um, that's it, and I will see you guys later. Okay.